traveling at the speed of light in packets of energy, radiation vibrates in waves. The electromagnetic spectrum classifies this wide range of electromagnetic waves using their wavelengths and frequencies. Although this spectrum is continuous, it has been divided into seven categories for easier identification. The categories are radio, microwave, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. Each type of radiation has its own melody in the overall symphony of the universe. On one end of the electromagnetic spectrum, radio waves have longer wavelengths and are less energetic. Radio waves are used for communication, usually in the form of radio and television broadcasts. Microwaves have shorter wavelengths and are used for cooking, communications links like live newscasts, and for radar. Although infrared rays can't be seen, they can be felt. You can feel infrared rays as heat from the sun or a heat lamp. In the visible spectrum, the color of light depends on its wavelength. On one end, red light has a long wavelength and less energy, while on the other end, violet waves are shorter and are the most energetic of all types of visible light. On the higher energy side of the visible spectrum, past violet are ultraviolet rays. To most people, ultraviolet rays are the ones that tan or burn their skin. This happens because, although most of the sun's energy is in visible light, our sun is hot enough to emit some ultraviolet light, a small fraction of which reaches us on the ground. To astronomers, ultraviolet radiation tells about hot young stars that have just been born, or hot old stars near their deaths. X-ray photons are even more energetic. When an X-ray picture is taken of part of your body, the bones absorb the rays, while the soft tissue, like your skin, does not. This kind of x-ray picture provides doctors with important information. Gamma rays have the highest energy and the shortest wavelengths of all. Certain radioactive materials emit gamma rays. These rays are used in some medical treatments. However, too much exposure can cause severe illness.